Hello guys. In this video, I want to explain the difference between this operating system here and this one. Yes, you are right. These are completely two different platforms. The one of them is LMDE and the other one is our normal Linux Mint, how I guess many of you already know it. Yeah, if you looked around the Linux Mint website and you will see the download button, you see our latest Linux Mint version, but also some other Linux Mint versions. And this is called LMDE. So LMDE stands for Linux Mint Debian Edition. And the Linux Mint Debian Edition is something like an insurance if, for example, the normal Linux Mint doesn't work anymore, they always have a backup, which then tends everything to their backup plan, LMDE. And at the current moment, it is the version 6. So what are the actual differences between the LMDE version and the normal Linux Mint version? Because if you have a look to these both desktop, they are literally the same. But if we have a look deep into the system and also to the system details, we will discover that LMDE 6 is based on Debian, the so-called universal operating system. It's a great free Linux distribution which is kind of decentralized and is one of the backbones in our Linux world and it's much more important than the other base Linux Mint uses in their normal version and this is called Ubuntu. And to blow your mind, Ubuntu itself is also based on Debian. So many distributions for example, Pop OS, Zorin OS, Elementary OS, and many, many more, also MX Linux, are all based on Debian in the end. Also Linux Mint, every Linux Mint version, and also all Ubuntu flavors, of course. So Debian is kind of a mother of many operating systems, and Ubuntu is an improved, <laughs> maybe Debian, but they also um, change a lot of software, a lot of yeah, distribution principles. They introduced their own package manager and so on. So they have shifted quite far away from the original Debian project. And the reason why Ubuntu became so popular is in their history because when Ubuntu first appeared in 2004, they delivered a very easy installer, which made it very easy for the first time ever installing Ubuntu in a kind of easy way with a graphical installer and so on. So this is a great achievement Ubuntu got there. And because of this, many people from the Windows world were switching to Ubuntu because from 2004, it was much more easy to switch to the Linux world and to start really working with it for the normal user in very high quotes here. But why are now these both system existing and coexisting? And what does Linux Mint actually mean with backup plan if the Ubuntu version of Linux Mint goes wrong in a way or if the Ubuntu version for Linux Mint doesn't work out anymore? Because if we have a look to the history of Ubuntu, Ubuntu introduced a lot of new features in the past, for example, they switched from GNOME 2 to, to GNOME 3 quite early and this many people didn't like at this time. Also, they introduced their complete new desktop environment, which, which was called Unity, which is now kind of dead. And also in the last years, they introduced another thing which many people don't like at all. And this is a called Snapcraft or Snap Store, Snappy. Um, they have different names for the same thing, uh, which is an app store for Linux, but really only if it comes to the Ubuntu space. Uh, because Ubuntu is constantly replacing their old package format, which is called APT, which relies on the Debian packages we use here. So this is the kind of original package format. Um, they are now transferring from this original package format to their very own, where they have the full control over it, also over the servers, which many people don't like. And they are also kind of forcing the 
Ubuntu users to use this snap packages because if we have a look to for example Chromium uh, Firefox or Thunderbird, the really, really big applications everyone uses in the Ubuntu desktop or almost everyone uses, they did stop delivering these very popular programs in the traditional Debian format. They switched them from one night to the other to the new Snapcraft universe, uh, which isn't perfect at the current time. Also, no one didn't expect it to be perfect, but then to force all people using the new App Store with a single update wasn't really nice of the Ubuntu team. And such similar actions were also done multiple in the past. So many users transferred from the original Ubuntu version to some other Linux distributions, which are building up of Ubuntu and are building the so-called, so yeah, kind of a better Ubuntu. And one of the most successful Linux distributions out there, which are achieving this is Linux Mint and the people behind the Linux Mint dev team. So what does the Linux Mint team actually do in the current Linux Mint versions, in the normal Linux Mint versions? They are taking Ubuntu and are removing all anti-features. I call them in this video. So all the snap drama, they are also removing the data collection. Ubuntu introduced some versions before and some other very uncool functions from Ubuntu. They removed and replaced them with the original one, just like Ubuntu should be and they are still very compatible to the Ubuntu base which makes it possible for almost all software if it runs on Ubuntu then you can also be very sure that it runs on the normal Linux Mint version too because on the base and with the versions Ubuntu is using Linux Mint is quite the same so everything's fine at the point but we don't know how Ubuntu will change in the future and what things Ubuntu will introduce in the future. For example, Ubuntu also announced some Ubuntu version which ditches the traditional Debian packages at all, which then makes it really hard to continue relying on the Ubuntu package base. But uh, this was first introduced for the Ubuntu 24.4 version to release such a version, but they didn't because it wasn't finished at all and they had many problems. So this will get moved to the future and let's see how this is going and also of course, Ubuntu is a very widespread Linux distribution out there and many software projects supporting Ubuntu are uh, still highly relying on the traditional Debian package base management. So I'm guessing that at least in the next five years, the Ubuntu version like we see it nowadays will continue existing and I'm also really thinking that this will hold on for a longer time because it's just too essential and too crucial to ditch the very own base package manager out of um, also even of Ubuntu um, for many projects. So the normal Ubuntu future is saved for at least five or 10 years. Also, it could be possible that the Ubuntu future for Linux Mint will be saved for here ever. <laughs> At the current time, we don't know if there's really a point where the Linux Mint team and the Linux Mint team also doesn't know it for themselves, if they really need this backup plan with the LMDE 6 version. At the current time, the LMDE 6 version is only hold as a maybe side project and also to ensure that their Cinnamon desktop, which they are developing themselves, is also compatible to some distributions outside of Ubuntu. This is also very important, um, but their main focus is still relying on the normal Linux Mint version. And this is also okay. Now, if you ask yourself, yeah, wouldn't it be better to move from the Linux Mint version to the LMDE version? Or if I install a new computer, should I choose already the LMDE 6 version instead of the normal Linux Mint version? This depends, honestly. LMDE 6 is 
very similar to the normal Linux Mint version, but it has some differences in the base. Yeah, of course, um, Debian is directly underlying this version. So we have some differences when it comes to drivers, but it got better in this LMDE6 version about one and a half years ago, but the LMDE version has still a way to go to achieve the flawless driver compatibility like we know it in the Ubuntu version. Also some other system features could be a bit more complicated because of the Debian version, because Ubuntu also has some convenience features in the system themselves to work a bit more flawless on Debian you have to do some changes to the system and also to some system packages or apps yourselves to achieve a similar experience to Ubuntu systems. Some software is usually older in the LMDE version than in the Linux Mint version. Also, if it comes to the market share, just let me show it to you. It's quite a high difference. This is a screenshot from the Google Trends website. Here we see the blue graph is Linux Mint and the red graph is LMDE. So we see, yeah, Linux Mint is way more popular than LMDE. This doesn't make LMDE to a bad distribution though, but you will find fewer instructions for LMDE or Debian versions as a desktop user instead for example, for Ubuntu or even Linux Mint. So if you want to choose LMDE 6, please be aware of and please be prepared to dig a bit deeper into the internet to find a suitable instruction. When in comparison to the Linux Mint Ubuntu world, you will maybe find about 10 instructions <laughs> um, about the really same thing. So this could also be a very deciding point. Also, if it comes, for example, to some software compatibility, because Ubuntu and the Linux Mint base is quite more used through the normal users, some software developers, like for example, the open broadcaster software, which is a really great program to record videos, to do live streams. I'm also using right now the OBS software to capture this video here for you. And yeah, if we have a look to the Linux version, we see a FlatHub link here, for example, um, with the flat pack in it. But the FlatHub version does sometimes have some incompatibility and also some more bugs. Then in comparison, the system package with the old traditional package manager, which is also supported by the PPA project. But the PPA project is a very own project of Ubuntu. So if it comes to OBS and you really want to use the full experience of OBS, just like the developers are providing it to you and without any bugs, then the PPA PPA version of OBS is currently the best version when it comes to the Linux distributions. But as you see, the PPA is only available for Ubuntu based systems. This is because PPAs are only supported on, on Ubuntu based systems. So the normal Linux Mint version doesn't have any problem with this PPA version, but the LMDE version um, would have a very big problem because yeah, it isn't supported under LMDE 6. So if you want to use the official OBS under LMDE 6, you have to get the flat pack. And this sometimes is a bit buggy. And when it comes to the self-packaged OBS, because many Debian contributors also package some well-known open source software for the Debian project, as for example, uh, OBS. If you install this OBS package on Debian, then it doesn't have all software modules which are required, for example, to do proper live streaming. For example, the Debian version of OBS doesn't have any browser sources inside, a very crucial functionality for displaying some content in your live streams. This is just an example I wanted to show you. There are also many other software projects which have kind of similar problems. Then you have to use the flat pack, which is a bit buggy in some versions. So you don't get a really good experience of OBS. I'm currently using a Debian system here on my main computer. How did I solve this problem? Because here you are seeing this video I just recorded. I'm using two versions of OBS. On the one hand, for my live streams, I'm using the flat hub uh, version of OBS. 
And for my recordings, I'm using the Debian version of OBS, which is kind of unofficial. This is also completely okay that the Debian version doesn't have all features in it like OBS because yeah, it's only the Debian project in high parenthesis because the maintainers are doing this kind of manually. <laughs> this is completely okay, but in my opinion, the OBS project doesn't provide very good official builds for all Linux distributions. They are only supporting Ubuntu in a really great way and all the other distributions. They are recommending the flat pack because the Ubuntu base with all their derivatives is way more used than the real Debian base when it comes to desktop applications. So some developers are only supporting their yeah, maybe favorite uh, distribution, which is normally the Ubuntu based distributions. Does this make Debian or LMDE6 to a bad distributions? No, not at all. Again, I guess the developers of the software are here more to blame than the distributions because the distributions are just doing their thing. But because of this distribution, I also showed you in this graph here, this is also kind of understandable of developer teams, which do not have too many resources for distributing very good packages across all Linux distributions. This is also quite understandable. But in the end, it makes the normal Linux Mint base easier to use also kind of faster to configure and to install the software on it than the LMDE version at the current time. What should you use right now? If you are kind of a beginner or only want to use a good system, a good stable Linux distribution, which has, in my opinion, the best overall package in Linux distributions, then the normal Linux Mint version should be your choice. And if you think yourself, but do I have any bad features? You mentioned in this video uh, from Ubuntu also in the normal Linux Mint version, which is based on Ubuntu. No, you don't. Because again, the Linux Mint dev team ditches these features out and replaces them how the Ubuntu version should be. So everything's fine on this stage here. And you can use the normal Linux Mint version without any second thoughts. When it comes to LMDE6, it is also a great distribution, but I only recommend it to use if you are aware of that. You sometimes have to do more steps, have to do more problem solving on LMDE6, reaching a similar result compared to Linux Mint. But despite of that, this is also a very great distribution in the end, if I personally would install my new main machine with a Linux distribution of my choice, I would choose the normal Linux Mint distribution because it's a very good distribution for beginners, but also for professionals, which just want to get their things done and they want to work with the system and don't want to work on their system, especially in the beginning of the installation and yeah, and kind of establishing your working area on your Linux distribution. So what do you think about the normal Linux Mint version and the other LMDE version? Just write me into the comments and also write me into the comments which distribution you are using. Is it Linux Mint? Is it LMDE? Is it Ubuntu? Is it Debian? Or is it just another distribution? Just let me know it into the comments. And I would say we all see us in the next one. Until then, have a great time.